Immersed Robot. Hello everyone, welcome to Immerse Robot again and in this video I wanted to give a few of my first impressions now that Elite Dangerous Odyssey has finally been released generally. So I did a video about the Alpha a few weeks ago uh, when that was first released and people who paid a little bit extra for the Odyssey updates were able to get early access to the Alpha, you know, give it a try and they had four different phases with this Alpha in order to implement new things within the game each during each phase and to test how well they worked. I played a very small amount of that alpha, but I did make a video about my first impressions on that alpha as well. But I didn't play too much, and I did intend to make more videos during each phase of that alpha period, um, but I didn't get round to it. And really, the reason for it is just because I didn't feel compelled to play it. Because to me, Elite is a VR game, and if I can't play it in VR, which you can't play the on-foot sections, and you couldn't play the alpha at all in VR as far as I'm aware but if I'm not able to do that then it really didn't compel me to play the game unfortunately. Um, I also felt like there was a little bit of a lack of direction in the missions, I wasn't exactly certain on what I was supposed to be doing in some of the missions but then again I guess that would all come with experience if I'd have played a little bit more then perhaps that would have just came with that. And when I first played those first few play sessions of that alpha it seemed okay and I know that I need to get used to all the new systems and things like that but uh, I just had this feeling that whenever I had time to play Elite Dangerous I didn't want to play it on a monitor I wanted to get back into VR and play it that way so that's really what I did I just played more of Horizons during that alpha period I just didn't feel compelled to play it at all unfortunately but I did want to go in and try it and now Odyssey has finally been released it's sort of been all con contained within one game Odyssey is now part of Elite and you can play the vi the in-ship sections in virtual reality the SRV sections in virtual reality you're just not able to play the on foot sections in virtual reality instead it will project a 2d screen in front of you so when you first go into it you are presented with this new introduction screen and it's only a minor thing i know but it does give you this feeling that this is a new game it's not you're not playing the old game that you were before this has got new features it feels like a new game after that introduction screen and it's great um, but then when you first go into the game you are presented with a option to go through a on foot tutorial basically it's a tutorial mission where you're not playing as your uh, traditional profile commander you are playing as sort of a blank slate where you can just go through and get to grips with the on foot sections this tutorial is really well done in my opinion and it introduces the new mechanics great and I have a much better understanding now of what I need to do in these on foot sections and I really did like uh, playing through that uh, little tutorial mission actually I really had a great time doing that I just did it on a on a monitor I wasn't in virtual reality for majority of that time although I did play the last section of that tutorial in VR and so I did play on that uh, 2D screen which was presented out in front of me. It's quite a large screen and I did feel like it was a little bit close in all honesty. There were just a bit too much in your face in all honesty. So when you finish the tutorial you do find yourself back in your old commander profile wherever you were when you last played the game and I was in Titan City, a station in Seoul and I decided to get out of my ship and just have a wander around that station just to see what it was like. And playing those on foot sections in VR it's it's fine but it's not a flawless experience at all um, first of all there are a few frame rate issues generally in the game anyway now um, but during those on foot sections I did notice them uh, when playing in virtual reality whereas I didn't notice them so much when playing on a, a monitor but obviously you know I'm playing with a RTX 3080 so I can probably sort of brute force my way through some of these issues but I know some people are having uh, quite severe frame rate issues in some cases and what I did for those on foot sections, I did increase the field of view slider in the options menu because that seemed to make things far more comfortable when playing in virtual reality. Uh, that 2D screen, it didn't feel quite so much in my face once I'd increased that field of view slider and you can see a little bit more of your surroundings, it just felt more comfortable to me. But these on foot sections very much feel like a, a hacked on concession for VR fans who wanted this game, who pushed for it to be in VR. And that's probably very much what it was, a hacked on concession session and I just hope that they really will bring this eventually to in full virtual reality that would be a fantastic way to play this game. 
So then I went back into my ship and I took off to just play the game in the traditional VR way. And when I first went back into the ship, there were some uh, quite severe frame rate issues for some reason when I first went back in and while I was in the station. I'm not too sure what is going on. I know that the graphics have been improved generally throughout the game, but some people are complaining about there being perhaps graphical bugs and things like this at the moment. And to me, the lighting just felt strangely dark in a lot of sections, far darker than it was before and it's a little bit too dark you can't see a great deal in all honesty um, but I think generally the the graphical improvements are a bit of a mixed bag and when you're in your ship there is there are strange things as well like the interface on your ship the actual cockpit of your ship where you had these 3d representations like a little 3d hologram of your ship on the uh, cockpit and then you've got the target the thing that you're targeting at that moment as well you had a little 3d hologram of that as well the hologram are still there but they're no longer 3D they're rendered in 2D strangely whereas parts of the cockpit area are still 3D but the hologram section seem to be rendered incorrectly so I think this is just a little bug that needs to be worked out as well but that was a little bit jarring to see that when you're used to playing the game in VR and generally like with the with the interface as well I think there's been a lot of criticism and a lot of complaints that I've read from the community about this and for me I feel like there's some parts which I like about the new interface but there are definitely parts that need work and it's part of it I think is just getting used to how they've implemented this as well there's a lot of new systems a lot of new mechanics to get used to and I just think part of it I just need to get used to all of these things before I can make real judgment on them but yeah I can understand the criticism in some cases of course so as I mentioned those frame rate issues when I was in the station and leaving the station but when I was back in space things seemed much better and it was more back to the frame rate that I remember from playing with the Horizons version of the game and it, everything felt relatively smooth at that point. So I went out and I decided to find an atmospheric planet to land on. It's one of the new main attractions that you can enjoy in virtual reality. You can fly over these atmospheric planets now, land on them, explore them in an SRV. It's only when you get out and play on foot that it will turn into that 2D screen. So I wanted to find an atmospheric planet and I found one in a neighbouring system and everything, again, performance was great while I was doing this. Even approaching the planet, I, performance was perfectly fine. And I approached the planet, I went down to the surface, I was just about to land and then Frontier decided to implement uh, some downtime on the servers to push an update. And I wasn't aware of this. They did send out a tweet uh, regarding this, that they were going to push an update and the servers wouldn't be available, but it just kicked me out of the game just as I was about to land on this planet so I was a little bit disappointed about that I don't know where I'll end up now when I go back into the game possibly on the nearest station or perhaps it will just keep me on that planet I'm not sure we'll have to wait and see um, but I've not tried the update since then so this is just like a very quick first impressions of when I first went into the game and it's a bit of a mixed bag it's probably bordering a little bit more on the negative than the positive I'm afraid but uh, hopefully all of these things can get worked out a lot of the things are small things the 3d holograms for example the lighting can probably be adjusted some more of the graphical issues can probably be adjusted too so we'll have to wait and see it's early days and whenever there's a major update like this on a game you get all of these things that need to be worked through and I can understand that I'm used to it playing something like No Man's Sky for example these things always happen after a major update I was hoping that the alpha period would have sort of smoothed things over a little bit for them but it doesn't seem to be quite the case unfortunately so we'll wait and see but that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching please do subscribe if you like this kind of content and i'll see you next time please consider picking up my science fiction virtual reality focused novel the memory engine a light-hearted tongue-in-cheek adventure through the metaverse available on amazon kindle paperback and as an audible audiobook links in the description to this video